Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial video. In this one I will show you how to automatically download any additional files like titles, transitions, effects or stickers for offline use via macro recorder. Let's get started. Filmora comes with thousands of files that you can use for your videos for free. The files need to be downloaded to preview them, of course, if you want to add them to the timeline. You need to download them as well. The official online installer is only 3 megabytes. The offline installer is 480 megabyte and contains only the basic functionality. Wondershare does not offer the possibility to download all supplementary files at once. But don't worry, I will show you exactly how to do it yourself. Downloading each file manually for offline use can be very tedious and can take a serious amount of time. There are literally thousands of files that Filmora provides that you can embed in your videos. An emoji download like this consists of a thumbnail, a John file, a preview video, and the actual animated emoji. Note that after downloading all the files, you still need to be online to export the video so that no watermark is added to video. By default, the files are downloaded to your documents folder in Windows, in the case of audio files. A separate folder is created for each sound effect. You will notice that the thumbnail file is quite large. As the same large generic thumbnail file is created in each folder, this adds up very quickly. Now you know enough. Let's see how we can automate the download for offline use. First thing I am going to do is to make the macro recorder windows always on top. Now when I click on another window, the application will still be in front. In the first action of the script, the focus of the window is set. It is advisable to change the window title as suggested, then press OK. Let's arrange the window. For this tutorial, the goal is to download all the sound effects automatically. A folder will be created for each sound effect as it downloads. In the second action, Macro Recorder is supposed to look for the arrow icon and press it for me. Choose the Detect Image command and select the correct area. The default settings are good, there is no need to change anything. Next, add a mouse click action. Make sure it is relative to the current mouse position, otherwise the mouse click will be performed at the absolute position. Press play to test the macro. OK, that looks good. Add a loop command to repeat all previous actions. Select Start from the drop-down menu. Close the dialog box. Press the Play button to run the script. All visible arrows have been clicked automatically. So far, so good, but I want to download all files. To achieve this, I have to add another mouse operation. When no more arrow icons are visible, the mouse wheel should be scrolled down. Add a mouse wheel action at the end of the script. The orientation of the wheel is vertical. Drag the mouse wheel down. The value is inserted by the application automatically. Enter a label name, which will be used as a jump label.
edit the image search action. If the image is not found, go to the label just created. Add another go to command at the end. Select start from the drop down menu. Run the script again. But why doesn't it work? It works, it does exactly what we programmed. The default wait time for the wait for image command is 120 seconds. Let's fix the script quickly. Double click to edit the command. Change the wait time. Say a quick prayer and press play. It works, hooray! Let's see if this can be done even faster. Okay, that's much better. The two seconds waiting time can also be shortened, but I leave that task to you. This was how to automate Filmora with Macro Recorder to download files for offline use. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you want to see more automation tutorials. See you next time.